Facebook, let's just, the Facebook page is very good because even after each class, I spend about half an hour there and I answer questions. And then I come every day and I answer all the questions. And, and anybody who has been with me will know that I'm very active in counseling and answering questions. You will also meet a couple of people who are with me who are advanced students of mine who will be able to ad advise you if I'm not around. But I'm there most days unless something is terribly wrong with me, which is very rare. So let me come and join me there. Even if you do not like Facebook or you feel it's an invasion of your privacy, because this is a secret group, you find it safe, secure, and supported. And I'll be there with you. So do come. Okay, let's put the meditation slide on and then we'll start. <clears throat> so we normally separate this segment out into a separate video so you'll be able to enjoy it. And this will be a separate clip for you to do on how to do the meditation. Go to the next slide, please. So as we saw, grace descends into us from cosmos, from source of Shiva, Shakti and Para. The ultimate source is Para and it comes into us and we rise up the chakras and open the lotus petals to receive this great into each energy center it comes in. So the beam of light through us goes not only from above into us, but from the earth upwards and meets at the heart. It's almost like a pillar of light and you become this pillar of light. And one of the practices we learn in the third and fourth class is how to build this pillar of light in yourself. And these are the chakras. And the next slide, you'll see that the first mantra we're going to do is just to chant Om. Come back to me. So again, two key principles. A, U, M, rolling out the O and silence. Observe the silence. And A is the belly. Breathe into the stomach. A. 